This video is going to cover uploading data from any Excel file that you create to the parent directory and or the roster database. So the first thing I want to talk about is your Excel file. This is um, These uploads are kind of tricky and it does allow for uploading data that's already in the database so you can it's going to try and match <coughs> uh, your parents or swimmers so that it doesn't create duplicates which is an imperfect science, so there will be some, some risk there. But um, nonetheless, uh, I want to talk about the Excel file first. So here's an example of a, of a file that I'm going to use uh, right now for this demonstration. And uh, this just happens to be an export from Team Unified, but it doesn't have to be. You can create uh, your own Excel file. Maybe you've ma been managing your uh, email addresses and swimmers and such in Excel for some time and that's fine. So whatever your field, uh, whatever your Excel file looks like is fine. Uh, the one uh, critical requirement is that you have column headers that you can recognize so that you know because you're going to have to match up these column headers to the database uh, fields so that uh, the Swim Team US fields so that you can properly map the data to the right place in the database. Uh, you can see that uh, this particular file has lots of swimmers, pretty big team, on about almost, well, 280, 279 if you take into account the, the headers. And uh, for now, I have actually put one uh, invalid item in here so that we can see what that looks like. So, um, the next thing I'll say before we get started with the upload is that uh, the fields that you're going to map to from the Excel file, you're going to map them to Swim Team US. What's it based on? It's based on these forms on the registration page. So when you're, you can update your registration form, your parent form specifically, and uh, any field that's available here will show up as available to map to, and it'll use these labels that you've created. So it's pretty important to also uh, make your labels different. You don't want this one to be called email and this one to be called email because then it'll be confusing. So email one and two makes uh, a little more sense. Uh, also, any fields that you deem required here are going to be required on the import. So you cannot uh, make a field required here and then not have it in the uh, import file. So that's important as well. And that goes for the roster page, just like it does the parent page, okay? So those are two forms that uh, may come into play here for you as you work through this import. So now I'm gonna go back to the site console home and let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm gonna click on upload roster. And this is the same form it's always been to upload your uh, high tech file. And you can still upload your high tech file here. Uh, you can also upload an SD3 file, which is your standard USA Swimming format, and then you can upload an Excel file, any version, uh, older versions and uh, latest version. So I'm going to click Upload Doc, and I'm going to navigate to uh, the file that I want to upload. Uh, and as soon as that gets processed, we'll show you the mapping process. So I'll pick a category for the file and upload it. Okay. So now I'm going to hit submit and it's going to load that data to a temporary place in the database. And let's open it up a little bit bigger because these are all the fields on the left hand side that showed up as column headers. These are the column heading names, column header names in the Excel file. Over here on the right, you're going to indicate which field that it's going to map to. So member first name from Excel is going to map to what in Swim Team US? Well, back on the parent form, we had named that first field mom and dad. So I'll pick mom and dad first name, and that's a mapping. Now I've pre-saved some mappings here, so I don't have to go through this process uh, <laughs> all the way through because there's quite a number of fields here. Notice that you don't have to have a placeholder for every single one of them. You can ignore fields. That's just fine. Um, keep in mind, you will have to get all the required fields, uh, and, and any required field will have to have data in every field. So once you've finished your mapping process, you've got all the fields mapped that you want to load to the database, so you'll hit Submit for data validation, and it's going to go through a validation process, make sure all the required fields are there, make sure certain fields are valid, and here we found one that it in fact has an invalid phone number. So you're loading a phone number, and it doesn't, you can see it's missing the last, the fourth digit, or the tenth digit. Uh, of the phone number and so you cannot load this file and it's an all-or-nothing proposition here so you're gonna have to go back and fix the file and re-upload it so I'm gonna I'm gonna close this I'm gonna go find that problem in the file and uh, hopefully I 
stuck it in an easy spot so, so that I can fix it. And here it is. So the uh, the um, I should have saved the, the file, but it showed me what line number it was wrong. So here are the nine digits. So I'll just add my tenth digit back. And um, I'm going to save that file and uh, close it. And now we're just going to go through that same process again. And um, it'll be a little quicker this time because it has saved your mappings. You won't have to remap, um, which is why I... Um, I've created the ability to map, uh, save the mappings. So I'll upload the new file, and then we'll hit submit to process it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the last uh, import I did, and it will automatically show you all the mappings once again. So I don't have to go through this again, fortunately, because there's a good chance you're going to find some invalid fields. Uh, then we'll hit submit. And if it works, it's going to give us uh, the results. And there we are. So it added 173 new families. Uh, it in added 279 new swimmers. Um, no updates. And we're done. Um, now, had there been a match uh, on swimmers or, or parents, it would have uh, it would have updated those, that data instead of uh, inserting duplicates. Um, and... Um, just to give you some flavor of what that looks like uh, for parents, it's going to match on cell phone number, any phone number, uh, because those are typically very unique. It's going to match on email address. Again, very unique. Uh, it's going to match on first and last name, exact match on first and last name. And that's not necessarily hundred percent unique, but it's pretty close for, for any given swim team with swimmer. Uh, it's going to demand that, all three of these things match exactly, and that is first and last name, doesn't care about middle initial, uh, gender, and date of birth. And those three things, or four things really, must match for there to be a match and not create a duplicate. Um, but anyway, that's uh, the upload process. Uh, we hope you'll enjoy this uh, feature, um, not only for the first time uh, you get the site set up, but also for uh, future seasons uh, if you're maintaining any of your data in Excel.